We got breaking news out of college basketball where LSU has parted ways with head coach Will Wade. The news comes just four days after LSU received the notice of allegation from the NCAA in regards to potential violations by the men's basketball program. Wade's contract does state that the school can fire him without penalty if charged with a level one or level two violation. He spent the past five seasons as the head coach of the Tigers. Assistant Kevin Nickelberry is set to take over as interim head coach. All right, joining us now in studio, CBS Sports Hoops analyst Tim Doyle here to react to the news. Tim, you hear this and you see that clause in the contract. It's likely that LSU is parting ways with their head coach, not due to performance, but here with these allegations coming down. Your reaction is what? You know, uh, it looks like LSU as a university did its due diligence as far as really crossing the T's and dotting the I's legally because when all these allegations came out against Will Wade and there was video evidence and there was audio evidence, as a former player, my first thought was, I'm really surprised even on the sideline. I got a chance to see LSU live this year. I called their game against Louisiana Tech, and they got off to a great start. They were 11-0, I, I believe 12-0 in non-conference mm -hmm. play before SEC started, and they're going to be a tournament team this year. I feel for the kids. You know, like now they got to go into the most important part of their season without their head coach, without their leader. Um, it's really unfortunate the timing for the kids as far as Will Wade, I'm not going to lie, Joe. I was surprised he got the coach this year. Yeah, it, it was uh, interesting to see your perspective here from the player side of things. You've played at a number of programs. You've gone through a transfer. You've seen different angles of college hoops, and now you're seeing these kids, like you said, going into tourney time after a hot start to the season and having to refocus. What are they going to be going through over the next couple weeks? Here? I mean, think about it. you got someone else leading you. Mm -hmm. I mean, these are 18- to 22-year-old men, and I would say more than a third of the guys I played with, their college basketball coach was a father figure in their life. I mean, you know, I'm not going to speak for everybody on LSU, but I will. They went to LSU because of Will Wade. You know what I mean? I don't think they were walking around being like, well, look at the science building over there. Like, he was the one that sat in the living room. He was the guy that you go and play for, and now he's no longer going to be there. Uh, you see the, his career. He was an outstanding coach at VCU. But when I saw what was kind of coming his way, I was really surprised. And that's just LSU being like, whoa, whoa, we're not going to make any rash decisions. We're really going to go through the process, do our due diligence. We're not going to remove Will Wade before we really get a full breakdown of all the allegations. And now they get it. The timing of it, like I said, is very unfortunate for the players because Will Wade's the reason why they are in school. That's just a fact. Yeah, it's student athletes, it's science buildings. Not, the guy went there to go play there because of Will Wade. So uh, the way I would handicap it mm -hmm is I'd pick against them in the tournament. Mm -hmm. And they're probably going to be slotted somewhere in that like 8, 9, 10 region. Uh, I would look for them to lose in the first round. Uh, it's going to be a tough road ahead for the program, who's now playing in a very difficult SEC, as we've seen this conference sort of mature over the last bit of time here. And it's going to be a different head coach making that sales pitch to potential LSU talent moving forward. Can you give us a couple names? I know it's new, uh, but there already are names circulating around any and all jobs when it comes to the openings. I thought Gary Parrish had a really good point that if you're trending in a direction where you think that you're going to have a high-profile job, this may not be the fit with you because – the allegations that are coming down the line and what you're going to have to deal with recruiting-wise. But I have three guys that I know personally that have, are waiting for an opportunity like this and would – I think they would run to Baton Rouge would be the, uh, the, the best description to describe it. Rob Senderhoff, mm -hmm. 10 years at Kent State to play in a MAC championship, has never had a losing season. And I believe Kent State, if they get in, they got a really tough game against Akron. Uh, they are going to be a nightmare to go up against. Grant McCaslin's done a great job at North Texas. Obviously, they've won a game in the dance. Uh, he comes from that Chris Beard family tree. Uh, they play really good defense. He is an excellent college basketball coach. And Eric Conkle at Louisiana Tech was a Jim Laranega disciple. He's done a great job resurrecting a program that, you know, when you think Louisiana Tech, you think Carmelone, and that's about it. Well, uh, maybe Paul Millsap, too. And I asked Eric Conkle, I go, if you're walking down the street with Carmelone, <laughs> does he know who you are? He said yes. I have my doubts. But the guy could certainly coach on the sideline. He's led by Kenneth Lofton Jr. And it's interesting, when you have a superstar like Lofton, who's a second-year player but a freshman, and now you go from Louisiana Tech, obviously you got roots there, to LSU. Pretty good sales pitch, huh? Oh, do you want me to bring uh, maybe one of the top five biggest, best big men in all of college basketball with me? You know, that's just the reality that's college basketball. Yeah. Now, not only are you getting Eric Conkle, you're getting Kenneth Lofton.
TD, we appreciate the thoughts as always. Let's gotcha. take a look at LSU's resume as they do turn their attention towards tourney time without their head coach, Will Wade, who has been dismissed by the program. Projected six seed, according to our Jerry Palm, as of latest check, 22 and 11 on the season. And remember, 12 and 0 to start the season. Couple big conference wins there in the first week of conference play as well, but struggled down the stretch. Uh, net ranking 10-10 there as they turn their attention towards tourney time. Do you want a sports network that delivers everything that matters about the game? The highlights, the picks, the instant analysis, no yelling, no fake debates, no politics. Hit the subscribe button and never miss a moment.